YouTube, I hope you're well. It's been an awesome past couple of days for me. It's just literally been every day. It's been like, just get up, do what I want to do, do what I love and get back home and come back feeling fulfilled. And I hope your life has been the same, if not better, or working towards it. This video, I just want to talk about um, something that's just been on my mind since growing up and it's about being or feeling ashamed of yourself and this is all really I guess personal talk um, it's just something that I found always niggling my head when I was um, growing up um, just a little bit about my background quickly I grew up in a Catholic family um, Catholic school and as you would be aware, I probably would be dealing with a lot of guilt from that sort of raising up. And that guilt is good. It keeps you in line. It keeps you from doing things that probably you shouldn't be doing. But then if you do a lot of that, if you get exposed to a lot of that stuff, then it sometimes can have a toll on your mental health. And um, obviously how far it can go as well. Because sometimes it can be, in my opinion, a little bit limiting. So... I'll just quickly, I just want to share about, you know, how I deal with self-shame since growing up. I'm 26 years old now, um, grew up, went to school like everyone else did. But then now, after finishing university, working a full-time job in a career that has sort of that status progression, I've put that aside and wanted to do things that I really wanted to do. So I sort of feel in that way I could probably help someone on YouTube just to like deal with that sort of self self-doubt, self-thinking that can really limit them from doing what they, what they want to do. Um, because, you know, the gap between where you are right now and how you really want to live is literally in here. From my experience, there's nothing else that's been limited me. Limiting me from living the life I want to live, except for what's up here, right? If my mind was fixed, or sorry, not fixed, if my mind was in the right position at the age of 18, finishing high school, I could live my dream life at 18. I didn't need, you know, the material resources, finances, the connections. I didn't need all of that. All I needed to live my dream life as soon as I was of age was the fix here. And so when I first finished school to like now, it's just been the seven year, eight year long journey of just trying to get this in line. A um, little bit of experience, a little bit of just, but most of it really just a lot of self belief building. Like I felt, I just wanted to, I just needed to know that I could actually do it without following the herd of, of people out there. And um, now I finally, finally be able to feel that I could leave the pack and do what I want to do. So hopefully I just want to share the next few minutes and just how to probably accelerate that for yourself um, and just give some examples along the way. So look, I'm here just to really help you guys out. I hope, I feel like there's someone out there in 2024 is dealing this kind of stuff and just needs probably an extra little bit of nudge to help them get to where they want to go faster. So that's all I'm all, that's what I'm all about. So dealing with that sort of shame and self-doubt, I think a lot of times, especially in um, this world, we've been given a lot of, I guess, if you live in a Western world like I do, I'm in Australia, US, Europe, any of those places, where you're not sort of like fighting for survival every day. I think in Africa, some parts of Southeast Asia, um, you don't have to worry about what I'm talking about because you don't have the you don't have the the luxury to think about these things. But if you're growing up in a Western economy where you know a lot of comforts and a lot of things that we as animals used to do have been dealt with, you know, for example, food, shelter, water, they're all pretty much like on demand as much as we need it. And so, what that really happens, what really happens is your mind can just if your mind's not thinking about something it's sort of washing machines itself to think about something, right? Because it wants to keep you alive. It's always thinking about, it's always thinking subconsciously about dangers that could happen to you, right? And so 
what happens in the modern world with the modern man and woman is you, you, your mind starts replaying things from the past to protect you for what's coming ahead, right? So that's sort of my understanding of how what's happened in the last few years with me is like, you know, let's say you go to bed and then your, your mind just repeats memories of things that you've messed up in the past. I'm, I'm sure everyone else can relate. I was a pretty much heavy um, sufferer of that for sure. Like I, I would always go to bed, used to, Sometimes even now, but the sort of I know how to deal with it. You just, I just felt like, I just felt like miserable when going to bed because I was always going through things that I stuffed up in the past, you know. I shouldn't have talked to that person. I broke something at work. Um, I'm, I, my parents yelled at me. My teachers yelled at me. I, I, I accidentally made someone upset on the road when I was driving or I said the wrong thing. And sometimes those things can really just, Repeat in your mind for a long time, right? I, I, yeah, I still sometimes when I, before I was aware of it, like these things would just come back to haunt me, like every now and then. I was like, oh, please leave me alone, right? But I think it's not because you hate yourself and you should be therefore depressed or, you know, um, like things aren't working for you. It's just your mind protecting you from all these things. Right, it's protecting you from things that happened in the past that made you feel like uneasy and so it does that thing to remind you to not make that mistake again right so it, it, I, I think with that kind of situations it's sort of just to remember like your body's just trying to protect you from those things and it's okay accept it i i think the best way to deal with those um, shameful thoughts and, and memories is just to accept it. Like, yep, okay, I stuffed up and I'm never going to do it again. That's it. Right. Um, I say that to myself now, even now with things I've messed up in the past. Um, one probably pretty private one that I remember doing was, you know, trying to confess to a girl I really liked when I was younger. And I did it probably in the way that was a little bit, probably not the best way of doing it. Um, Pretty, I'd say creepy and then you know I for many years didn't forgive myself for how I'd managed that and but then now it's just like look okay look I stuffed up I haven't done it again since then and pretty much you move on with life and just smile right so that's how I deal with one sort of shame of mine another shame of mine was probably you know my overuse of the internet when I was younger this is probably something that's a little more contemporary for the viewers out there I used to be in the computer and my phone for a very, very long time, all the time. And um, I just sometimes come back to me saying, oh, with that time that I spent online, I, I could have, you know, done something else more significant in my life. But then, you know what, the past, the past, you can't really do much about it now. You can only change what you're doing right now. You see, now I'm changing it, you know, I'm, I'm still spending my time online, but at least, you know, I'm recording videos and trying to help someone else out there to, 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 to embedded their lives. So it's just really look, okay, you, you've made a mis you've made a mistake, but then please don't go down the route of, you know, saying that you can't get out of that spot because you can repeat it again. Just say, look, yep, yeah, I've made a mistake. Say it to yourself. I've made a mistake. I'm not going to do it again. I want to move on with my life. That's it. All right. So that's the fixing of the mind there. And um, yeah, shame is, I think, something that's affecting a lot of people today. I think the, the way it affects people the most is um, our ability to not really give eye contact or, or, or acknowledge people on the street or when we're walking outside, you know. Um, I think if you really have managed yourself shame and that is how is when if you know if you're walking past someone or you're in a city in a public place, and someone gives you eye contact, right? And, you know, you're able to greet them, acknowledge them. You know, it's like, say someone's walking to me right now, I'm just like, look, I'll say, look, I won't, you know, try to act annoying. I'll just say, look, hi, how are you? I'll just say, good morning, good evening. And that's it, I'll just walk off, right? And it's up to them to really decide to respond to you. Um, I, I think is is a good measure to see if you're, you have your self-shame in check. Because if you can say hello to someone that you don't know, um, 
that means your I think your head's in a good spot. <sighs> yeah, it, it's been a great massive journey for me. Um, the things I tried to fix it in the past was I tried to read a lot of books on self help, self development. I don't think that's really the main way of fixing it. I think them fixing it is really just trying to really grow out of your own shell and like put yourself in an uncomfortable position in your own head so that you can make that decision to say, yes, I made a mistake, I'm not gonna do it again, move on. Right? And yeah, even even with work as well, like I remember making mistakes at work and I wouldn't forgive myself for so many years. But I just had that sort of hero mindset saying, oh no, it's my fault, the client's never gonna forgive me. But then like the clients already forgotten about it, but then I haven't forgotten about it. And it's like I start poisoning myself for the next two years. And wasting all that time where I could be thinking about something else. Like, especially in the modern world, there's really nothing that's unforgivable. Right? And I'm just going to be real here. There's a lot of unethical, immoral things done at the top tiers of, you know, decision making in this country. Um, do your own research on that. We just had a case about, you know... Um, the the big banks just not paying people correctly and they're just getting fined for a very small amount for it. like i think we got to learn that there's a lot of wrongdoing in the world right and sometimes you got to take a step back when you make a mistake and be like hey look um, just just own up to it say i'm sorry it won't happen again but then don't bury yourself of all that weight onto your shoulders because you made a mistake because there are so many people out there that make mistakes and they're like whatever i don't care i'm one of those guys before like i said before like i i, I would make a mistake and then i would literally just like knuckle down on myself so much where i just wouldn't have any motivation to do anything else i had no mental energy i just think about that mistake all, all the time and i that's that's sort of the reason why i want to make these videos because I don't want anyone to go through that because it, that sucks. That sucks so much to put put you so much guilt and shame onto yourself on such minute things and like, and it was just really really bad experience. Um, I, I just think I was not taught how to do that, and I just really hope this video just helps someone out there. Look, if you make a mistake, it's okay. Just say, look, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. You might get your voice voice raised at it. You might get some sort of penalty, but then life moves on, right? Literally, the world and the sun are still going to rise the next day and forever, whether you make the mistake or not, right? Life still goes on. We're all going to die anyways. Like, literally, whether you make a mistake or you don't, or you get that job, or you get that hot girlfriend, hot boyfriend, you get that nice car, you get the nice material stuff, or if you don't, we're still gonna die anyways, you can't take it with you. And so I just hope that kind of thinking just really helps someone out there. Look, if you make mistakes and you feel ashamed, you feel guilty, don't. It's such a waste of time. You're literally wasting time if you're trying to feel guilty and miserable about yourself because of what you did before. Whether it was right or wrong. So that's the end of the video. Um, uh, yeah, man, I just hope people out there can, I just don't want anyone to suffer like I did before about guilt. So it was a really, really expensive mental energy type of activity for me. And I just, yeah, I want people to live their best lives as much as they can. So hope that helps guys. Look, just make the mistake, forgive yourself and move on with life. Because life's too short to suffer. Cheers, guys.